Sup YouTube, here we are again, it's Rod Crin, you're homeless, but still here, doing his thing, yeah, uh, how y'all doing out there, you can leave a comment down below, because obviously I d can't hear you, but I'm here to give you your DC Universe update for the week. Uh, you know, it's a streaming service with a lot of shows, and it's also a, a comic book reader. And they've got, I don't know if they're done uploading, like, huge blocks. But every week, they're dropping, I don't know, a couple hundred books. And it's just the new ones that are added to the series, uh, or to the, the service. And, you know, you're getting all your... Now, all the Rebirth books, and the Young Animal, and the New Age of Heroes books. So, if you're interested in any of those, plus, you know, you go back and back and back. You get all those series, like, completely. Like, one of the few series I collected from one to the end was The Flash from 1987. I have, I well, I had every issue of it. Every single issue of The Flash. That series, the Wally West series, was post-Crisis. If you don't know what Crisis was, Crisis on Infinite Earths was, was basically the reason I just totally started devouring DC Comics. So, uh, most of that stuff's already there, including the Crisis. You know, including Man of Steel, which reintroduced Superman, like the new Superman origin, to uh, the DC Universe. Uh, that Batman Year One, which is also his rebooted origin. Um, let's see. Oh, Wonder Woman. <laughs> Wonder Woman is so amazing. After Crisis, they really got a handle on her origin. And it's all there. I mean, it's all there. It's. I'm guessing this is the clearest you can ever see me. I need to shave. I know that much. But, uh. Yeah. The DC Universe streaming service is full of cool stuff. I mean, I don't know if you've seen the Swamp Thing. Uh. I don't know, there's trailers or just regular 30-second spots. You'll see them on YouTube all the time. Uh, but that's next. I mean, Doom Patrol ends in two weeks, I think. And then Swamp Thing starts the week after. So there's that. And Doom Patrol, I honestly don't want it to end. I mean, every episode is about a struggle with something. You know, be it mental or physical, mostly mental. It's mostly mental health they're dealing with and the struggle that people go through with their mental health. So, yeah, I mean, and they're not heroic, at least not yet. I mean, because they're all struggling to get out of the house. I don't know. I I if it's ten bucks a month, just get one month and watch Doom Patrol. It's almost over. There's two episodes left, so you can binge watch it. You know, I like to watch it week to week, but you know that's up to you if you want to actually like binge it. I watched a couple episodes last just a couple days ago because they were so good. I had to see them again. Uh, that was you know the last two. Uh, was two ago I'm trying to think what it was called the most recent one is Francis Patrol really dug it I love that episode anyways uh, yeah the Doom Patrol and then you get Swamp Thing I mean these are these are comic books that dealt with mature uh, subject matter and now they're making shows based on those comic books. And it, it's not for kids, I guess. 
But it's... I mean, Titans... I don't know if I'd let a kid watch that either. I mean, Robin says fuck in the first episode. <laughs> Young Justice, though. Young Justice, that's for the kids. If you got kids around, let them see Young Justice. But don't let them watch Titans. Don't let them watch Doom Patrol. I think uh, Cliff's favorite word is fuck. <laughs> but it's a streaming series, so... You know, he can do what he wants. Um... Yeah, I mean, there was nothing, nothing big added to the series or added to the, you know, to the service this week. It was no, you know, nothing groundbreaking or anything. Just, you know, here's the next issue of all those, you know, all those modern comics. All, all the modern comics, they're a year behind, and so here's the next one. And that's how they're giving it to you every week. I mean, I don't feel that out of the loop when I can read the most recent one. Or, you know, a year ago's one. But, you know, honestly, I, I don't care about modern comics because I have the DC Universe app and I get to read all of my favorite comics. Every issue of the Legion of Superheroes is here. Every issue of Justice League, or Justice League of America, or Batman, or, you know, I was reading Action Comics today, old, old, old issues of Action Comics, just to see how different they were, and yeah, they're way different. <laughs> I mean, it's the good stuff, it's what they have, it's, it's what DC Universe gives to everybody, it's... They give you the classics, and they give you the new stuff. On the video side, if you haven't even looked at the service, I mean, they have the Superman show. You know, the one that, I don't know, any of us grew up with, I don't know, the black and white one, the black and white Superman show. Every episode is on there, including when it went into color. They're all there. We're honoring the past. Honestly, everything is on the service that they can, and I know they are they're working towards getting the newer stuff. Because Krypton, which was on sci fi just last year, the first season's all on the service right now. I watched it all. I have a spoiler review on my channel. I'll leave a link in the description. If you want to see the review, that is. I thought it was great, though. I didn't expect anything from it, and I thought it was great. And let's see. It just... The service honors the past. All the Superman movies, you know, Superman 1, 2, 3, and 4, you know, the quest for peace, all of those are here. Batman 1, 2, 3, and 4, you know, Batman, uh, what was the second one called? The one with the Penguin. Uh, Danny DeVito is the Penguin. That's here. George Clooney and Val Kilmer, they're here. <laughs> and I know it's not the best stuff, but people like that. Th th people like those things. I know they do. Lois and Clark. The New Adventures of Superman. The entire series is on here. I know I sound like a shill, but really, I just want people to enjoy the things that I enjoy. Because it's so easy to do. Because it's all in one place. It's one place. And I think they listen to me, too, because they're pulling all the, uh, CW shows from Netflix. And I think pretty soon they're all going to be on the service. I couldn't tell you how soon. I don't know if you even care. But I tell you, Arrow Season 1 and 2, that is awesome. Awesome superhero stuff. I mean, he's basically the Batman of TV. Basically. I mean, that stuff is gold. Uh, Flash Season 1, 
season two, and season three. I mean, yeah, I think Arrow season three is awesome too. I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know why I'd ever give up on any of those shows. I honestly don't. Constantine, though, that show that really deserved a second season, well, it's here. And you can watch it, and it's awesome. It's so dark. It's so Hellblazer. If you read the comics back in the day, like I did, it's so much like that. Let's see, what else What else is this? I don't know, I paid $80 for 15 months. You know. And that was a bargain, because it's $8 a month. And I got 15 months for 80 bucks. Think about that. A couple months ago, or maybe it was last month, it was 80 cents. Because it was Batman's 80th anniversary. 80 cents for a month. Imagine how much of this stuff you could have watched in a month. If you cared. I mean, your Netflix subscription is there. But I don't know what they got left anymore. Honestly. I know there's some good stuff there. I know there is. Uh, what was that movie I watched recently? It was about... Four ex-military guys that go to rob a cartel. Super good. I mean, super good. Ben Affleck dies in it. Spoiler, spoiler. <laughs> Sorry. Whatever that movie's called, it was really good. Anyways, uh, no, but the DC Universe app... Should do me. can't turn my camera around while I'm taping but I'll I'll just show you this stuff it, I don't think it'll look very good but uh you know the idea is pure I think I'm not trying to you know sell anything I'm not going to start showing videos I'm just going to show you what's here I'm just going to let you know damn I look good right there what's up yo Yeah, let's go. All right. Just give me a moment. And I'll give you a tour of what's here. I hope. All right. All right, this is the home page. So let's go to movies and TV. Right, so here they don't have like a list of everything, I guess. So just take a look right here. Just scroll down. Coming soon on that Swamp Thing show. All of the Wonder Woman TV show. And the awesome movie from 2009. Alright, so, yeah. There you go. That's everything you can watch. And it's so much. You couldn't do it all in a month. You could try, though. I mean, there's some standouts. There's uh, Darwin Cook's The New Frontier. It's just one of the, the greatest, you know, superhero comics ever. And they made it into a movie. I want to show you the comic books and the series and stuff. Uh, 
all comic series. Yeah. All right, get ready, because there's so much. And a lot of it's Batman. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Let's see. That's Batlash over there. You notice that? Six issues of Batlash. Looks like Phil Hester did the art. He's pretty good. A lot of bad curl. A lot of bad girl. 2000, 2008, 2009, 2011. 58 issues of that one. And the first 23 of the 2016 one. Looks like Mike Mignola did that cover, but... That's okay. Couldn't tell you did the art there, but that's a pretty good series from what I understand. Batman, Batman and Robin, Batman the Signal. This is really modern. But then, you know, Batman and the Legion of Superheroes. Guess what? I bought those. <laughs> and here's Batman. This is the new 52. Every issue. I don't know how there's 64 issues. Because it only went 52. But they're all here. This is Rebirth Batman. There's 51. Batman from 1940. There's only... They're curating those. They're... You know, they're cleaning them up. As we speak. Until they can give them all. Here's your Batman Beyonds. If you're into that. I mean, I only got into it in Rebirth. And I thought it was great. Black and white. Confidential. Eternal. 52 issues. They came out every week. Digitally. And I think it's by Scott Snyder. Every issue. And he's a big deal in the DC Comics. Anyways. If you see more of me. Let's get less of me. Well, let's get more of me. This is cool. Uh, let's wait for this to load. So this guy in, in this costume right there, that's Dick Grayson. Because Batman was dead at the time, or lost in time. Nobody knew. This is a comic book that I had every issue of. Batman and the Outsiders. This is not the team. It's Batman with Metamorpho, Katana... Geo Force, yeah, Black Lightning. Look at that Lee Bermejo art. Oh yeah. So as you can see, there's like I said, tons of Batman. The Battle for the Cowl. When that was new, I read every issue. And in the first one, like Damien comes to to Dick. He's like, dude, we gotta stop Jason. He's dressed like Batman and killing everybody. It's so awesome. So that's there to check out if you want. Dark Victory, the sequel to The Long Halloween. And The Long Halloween is here too. By Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale, if you needed to know. There's a Harley Quinn special. Here's some Harley Quinn. Joker's daughter. No Man's Land. That was a big storyline in the late 90s, early 2000s. There's 96 issues of Shadow of the Bat. I think I had the first 20 of them. That's where Venom originally appears. That is, uh, 
what's his name? Bane's juice, it appears in one of these issues for the first time. Son of the Demon. Oh, yeah. The Cult. I remember buying this when I was a kid. Bernie Wrightson did the artwork. He's so amazing as a horror writer. Or drawer. I mean, artist. Shit. Drawer. What a tool. Anyways, let's continue scroll, scroll, ugh, scrolling. For some reason, the cover of The Dark Knight Returns, number one, isn't here. But as you can see, all four issues are here. Here's The Dark Knight Strikes Again, the sequel. This is trash, by the way. Anyways, we'll continue scrolling down. There's the long Halloween I was talking about. Let's see, no, we did still didn't get it. Let's see, Batman Unseen, Batman Vengeance of Bane, Batman Year 100 by Paul Pope. That is pretty cool. <laughs> This is every issue of Batwing from the New 52. Every one. Here we go, Batwoman. All her New 52 ones, including the ones by J.H. Williams. Let's see. Let's get in here and see what we can see. Look at that. I don't know if I'm showing it off very well, but the guy had a style. Oh, this cover is so awesome. Let's see if we can blow that up. Doesn't look like it. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Go to read issue. Look at that. That is awesome. To me. Anyways. We'll continue on. Uh, close that. And go back. I think we'll go back. <laughs> It'd be about right. About the way this computer works with this system. I'm telling you, this it doesn't have the infrastructure that like uh, YouTube and Google has. Uh, go back to comic books. Maybe this will work. All right. Let's we'll go back to all, and we'll just. Rapidly scroll down until we get past Batwoman. Because <laughs> there's so much. I mean, this might be my longest review, but at least it's of something, except for how ugly I am. Now, for some reason, those artworks just don't show up. It's like that on my phone, too. And there's Batwoman from the 2017 series. I don't know where we are at. There we go. I think. I don't know. Uh, Billy Batson and the Magic of Shazam. Birds of Prey. Here we go. Batgirl and the Birds of Prey. Black Adam. You saw the Shazam movie? This would be a nice prequel. Find out who that guy is. Black Canary. Black Lightning. This here is Black Lightning by Tony Isabella. The guy that wrote, drew, and created the character. There's his year one. And here we get some Blackest Night. All the tie-ins for the Green Lantern story. Blackest Night. Oh, look at that. Beast Boy making out with his dead girlfriend. Who never even liked him. But if you read the comic, you know what I mean. There's Blackhawks. It only went eight issues in the New 52. What a shame. Because it was really cool. Blue Beetle. This is the launch after uh, Infinite Crisis. This is his series. 36 issues. And then in the New 52, just 17. And then in Rebirth, only 19. People don't care. Blue Devil. From 1984, all 32 issues. <laughs> Booster Gold from 1986, 
I don't think that's every issue he did. I think they're holding back on some. But the 2007 series, all 50 of them are here. And you can't see this, but this is a book I read. Bottle of Awesome. Let's see if we can't get something. Billy Butterman is a loser, a putz. High school is a total nightmare. All the cool guys pick on him, girls ignore him, and worse yet, everyone calls him Butterpants because he had a bladder control problem. Until age 12. That is, until the day he encountered a mysterious hobo who urges him to drink from a bottle of awesome. However, he warns Billy not to drink too much for a person can become too awesome. Will Billy heed his words? And here's Bottle Awesome number one. I read this whole series. Wish fulfillment, for sure. You know, ultimate wish fulfillment. Really fun series, too. Looks like we're starting at the top again. And we were only at B. Think about this, people. We'd only made it to Bottle of Awesome. If that doesn't give you some idea how many comics there are to read on the service. And yeah, you can pay for one month or you can pay for a year. And you'd still never run out of books to read. Like when it first launched, there wasn't anything to read. Uh, here we go. Jeff Loeb and Tim Sales, Challengers of the Unknown. That book, right there, it owned my soul. Let's get a close-up. I got the first issue, didn't like anything about it except what was happening. You know, I didn't like the characters, didn't like the art, but the story, oh my god. So I had to read the next one, and I did, and then the art got, oh, it got better and better in my eyes. Here's some more challengers, 97, 91 there, 97, 2004, they tried again, and none of them had any success, it wasn't a popular thing. There's Connor Hawk, Constantine, there you go. They brought him into the main uh, DC Universe with that one. And here's 2015. Another series. Convergence. It's a crisis, you know, with a lot of tie-ins. Here's all the tie-ins. If there's something you're interested in, you know, let me know in the comments below. Look at all these tie-ins. It's disgusting. Oh, look. Here's the 1986 Cosmic Boy series, of which my channel is named after. That is Rock Crin right there. <laughs> this dude in the pink and black and whatever. Cosmic Boy. Yeah. That's what I named my channel after. That's who I named my channel after. <laughs> It's my favorite superhero of all time. I mean, Aquaman was my first love, but then it was this dude. Here's the Cosmic Odyssey by, I would say, Jim Starlin and Mike Mignola. Let's see. It might be Roger Stern. I know Mike Mignola's on art. I can tell you that much. This is like, Awesome. Look at this artwork. So cool. Jim Starlin. Like I said, the guy that created Thanos wrote this with Mike Mignola. And it's awesome. Let's let's just dive in. This is gonna give me a copyright strike, I know it. <laughs> if it'll load, let's see. All right, look at this. Look at this artwork. Let me get in there. Take a look at that. 
hyper stylized on most of the characters, but that's Mike Mignola, you know. All right, well, that doesn't look cool. I mean, those don't even look like parademons. Oh, look at that Superman, though, all in black. Just the logo with light ray behind him. That's why he looks that way. He just emanates light. That's a pretty stylish concept right there. Superman, punch of fools, light ray. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, you, you're getting an idea what that looks like. And that's awesome. That is awesome stuff. Sometimes I do that, it lets me like X the comic. Uh, oh, look at that face, dude. Lantern jawed, awesome Superman. There's that X that I wanted. Alright. From here, look at that, Jim Starlin. There's the four covers by Mike Mignola. Oh, well. I don't know what that's from. We get to go back, I think, and not start at the top. Well, anyways, it looks like the app is totally frozen, and that happens if you go too fast. Uh, like I said, infrastructure, infrastructure, infrastructure. That's everything in any online service. You have to have it, and they ain't got it yet. But... Just check that shit out. Wasn't that rad? There's so many awesome things to look at. So many awesome shows to watch. So many awesome comics to read. And if you have a big screen TV and you live in America, it'll panel by panel that shit. I wouldn't do it on my, you know, my laptop here, but... <sighs> Anyhow, I'm thinking 32 minutes is a bit too long for this rambling video. I would have gone longer if the app hadn't frozen, though. I've shown you everything. But just this tip of the iceberg. This tip of the iceberg, yo. Has that gotten you intrigued? Leave a comment down below. Please, let me know. And subscribe. I mean, there's, let's see, how does my boy Zach do it? If you like this video, hit the like button. Uh, please subscribe, make sure you're still subscribed. And hit the bell for notifications, because, I don't know, I'll put out some more videos. I just got a little disheartened after last week. Uh, well, obviously, I know I put out my best video and nobody watched it. But that's just me. I know that happened, and nobody watched it. I hate when that happens. Uh, anyhow, this is Rock Crin. And if you know me in real life, I'm Kip Orr. We're signing off. Laters.